Hello and welcome, continuing our series, and this is a series, be sure to check out the full playlist, there should be a link in the description of this video, and if you haven't watched the previous videos, you may be a little lost trying to watch this one, so I recommend checking those out. Also, a link in the description of the video is to my GitLab page with all the examples I'm going over in this tutorial, and today we're going to, if you go into examples, there's one folder called key presses, that's what we're working on today, and what we're going to do is we're just going to set it up so when you press a key, you can have your own custom functions happen. Uh, so I'm in that directory. And I have three files. So first one we have is our standard zscript file, which just says the version of gzdoom script that we're using, uh, which currently is 4.11.3. Uh, that is important to put in there because if you don't put that, it's going to default to an older version and some things may not work. Next, we're going to include our key presses script file. Again, you can put everything in that one uh, file, but it's it's just good practice to separate things out to open uh, separate files. That way you can, you know, take this code, this this file right here, and put it in your own project and just reference it. So what do we have in here? I'm not going to type out all the code. I already have it typed out here. We're going to create our own class. It's called key presses. What type of class is this? Well, it's an event handler. It's going to happen when an event occurs. Okay, what type of in, uh, uh, event? Well, here we're looking at processing input. So when a uh, is, is going to process an input, anytime an input happens, that event, we're going to say whatever event happens, so it could be a keyboard or mouse, is, we're going to put it into a um, variable called E. At this point, we're now going to check, okay, that E, that event, what type is it? Is it a input event of the type of key down? So basically, there's a bunch of different types of inputs that the user can do. This is looking when a key has been pressed down. If it is, it's going to continue. Now, I've put a comment here with a link to some notes uh, up online about the invent. So you can always, you can thank me later for putting that there. You can always just open that up and, and look at it. it. This is the page right here. Uh, this website is very good. So it gives you a little more information on how these things function. And you might see some things that aren't in my example here, like here's mouse. Uh, coordinates and stuff. So we're looking, okay, anytime a key is pressed, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to print a console message. So console print F. This is going to be your message. You'll see it in the terminal if you've started GZ Doom from the terminal, but it also is what's displayed up in the top left corner of your screen when you're in the game. So this is going to say, uh, we're printing a message. This is the message we're printing. In here, we're going to say, this is a variable, percent %i, it's an integer, it's a number. And what number is it? It's this over here, which is again, e, which is our event. So basically it's our key that's being pressed and it's going to give it its scan key identification, which is an integer, it's your ASCII value. If you're not familiar with ASCII is, each letter on your keyboard has its own numeric value, basically. And lowercase f is going to be different than a capital F. Um, but that will give return that number. You'll see it up in the corner, and that way you can reference that if you need to. Then, right after that, it's going to print another message saying the character, uh, and then we're giving it a variable here. Again, percent %c for character uh, has been pressed. Well, it's going to look at the event again, what character. So if you press F, it would actually display F right there. If you press R, it's going to display R right there. So let's go ahead, and there's one more thing you need to do. So we didn't link this to an actor. Again, an actor is an object in the game. So to call this function, we need to tell our game to look for this handler. So that's where this map info file comes in. The map info file can have a lot of stuff in it, uh, but right now we're just looking at this. We're saying, okay, game info, and then in curly brackets here, or braces, we're gonna say, okay, we're adding an event handler. What event handler? Key press. Where did I get this name? Well, that's what I made up. When I made this, you can see right here, key presses. So it's gotta, you, you name this here, and to access it, it has to be put in here. You can have multiple, you can say, add event handler this, and then you can have another event handler for something else underneath that. So now, again, if I say gzdoom dash file dot, meaning look in the current directory, we're loading up Doom 2, warping to level one. Now, when I get into the game, anytime I press a key on the keyboard, I should get a message telling me the value of that key and what key it is. So there you go, 31 is S. We got A, D, can be even keys like F that don't do anything. So now you can reference that. You can specifically look for a character or a numeric value for that. Let's go ahead and do one more thing. We'll make a modification to this code. And what we'll do here is we can check something else. So what I can say is I can create a new if statement here. And I can say if the character equals F, 
Then we're going to say console print F. And here I, I, I'm using my Vim setup, which autocomplete stuff. I'm going to say red and I'm going to get rid of this. And then I'm going to say you pressed F. And I'll put little quotations around that. And then we should be able to say else do this. So what are we doing here? Every time the key is pressed, we're going to look at the value. Okay, it's a key down. Is that the letter F? If so, in red, press or display this message. If it's any other key, display our standard message. So that should work. Let's go ahead and run this. And again, I can press different keys here and it shows those different messages. But if I press the letter F, it should in red say, you pressed F. So there you can now create your own functions that anytime in the game you press a certain key, it will run those functions. And we're going to have fun with that definitely in upcoming videos. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found this useful, uh, learning how to make these event handlers to look at. Um, and again, all those messages also show up in your terminal here. So filmsbychris.com, there's a link in the description of the video to my website. There you can check out all my videos, which I, I just do videos mostly on just computer programming and open source software. So I've been doing it for 15 years now. I have thousands of videos. I have older ones on Doom, uh, but I hope you're enjoying this series. Check out the link in the description for the full playlist. If you like my videos and want to support my videos, uh, you can go to my Patreon page. There's a link in the description. Or if you go to filmsbychris.com, filmsbychris.com, again, Chris with a K, and you click on the support button here, you can see you can support me by buying me a coffee, donating through LibrePay, uh, PayPal, or on Patreon. If you don't want to support me financially, that is fine too. It'd be great if you share these videos. Again, this topic of Z scripts, I, I found it very hard. I, I only found some videos. They were relatively new and they I felt like they were fairly complex compared to mine. I'm trying to simplify stuff. There's some good documentation, but there's also a lot of old documentation that could get people confused. So if you are at all interested in, in Z script and you were having trouble finding uh, you know, good tutorials and you like mine, please share, go to the doom forums or Facebook pages or wherever and share a link to my playlist. I would super duper appreciate that. As always, I hope that you have a great day.